What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for checking in. It's a scorcher out here today. The temperature's in the 90s, but I will continue to provide you guys with some F30 content. So I hope you guys have been enjoying that so far. So what do we have on today's agenda? It's something for the front end. It's gonna be something very cosmetic and very simple to do. Um, we're actually gonna hit two birds with one stone with this mod, so let's get into it. As I've mentioned in previous videos, I do have gloss black kidney rolls here, but they do have some pitting from rocks and a, a couple of different rock chips here on both of these. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull these off. I've got some new ones and we're actually going to also wrap the crossbars that are behind the kidneys. So we're gonna show you guys that whole process. Okay, so here's a close up of the current kidney grills that I have. I'm not sure if these are end performance or if it's some sort of aftermarket thing. Um, they don't seem like they're very sturdy in here, so I'm assuming that it's something that's aftermarket. But as you guys can see, I've got some rock chips here. Um, there's one here, there's one here, and there's something over here that I can't get off. And so I figured it's a good time for us to just do a simple upgrade. And I actually went with some double slot grills, which I have in that box right over there. And I have also got some vinyl wrap to wrap the crossbars behind here. A lot of guys wrap the crossbars back there just to give it, you know, some more cosmetic flair. Um, I was kind of iffy on it, but I think I'm going to go ahead and do it. If I don't like it, the good thing is it's just vinyl so I can just pull it off. Um, but we're going to go ahead and show you what that looks like and hopefully, hopefully we like it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do obviously is pop the hood. Next up you want to take this weather stripping and pull it off. It's just compression fitted on here, so just go all the way down, pull it off, put that aside, and then you're going to go ahead and get a ratchet and a Torx bit. So I've got a ratchet with an extension on it and I've got a T30 Torx bit. I'm gonna go ahead and remove one, two, three, four, five, six of these torque bits right here on the top. All right, after you have removed those six T30s, you're gonna go ahead and get a T25 Torx bit. And you've got two here, one here and one here. And this actually screws into the headlight. So remove those two. <clears throat> Next, you're gonna see four metal tabs that go across the top here. Um, this is basically holding the bumper in. So what you need to do is just kind of slide it back nice and gently, just like that. And now you've got access to pull this part of the bumper back. So. Don't worry about harming anything. It's all uh, polyurethane, very flexible. So you just wanna be able to pull it back far enough to reach your hand back here. Okay, so here are the replacement grills. These are gloss black. I went with the double slat this time. I was kind of iffy on whether or not to do the double slat, but a lot of guys actually do this and I think it looks a little bit nicer. So I went ahead and gave it a shot. If we don't like it, I can always switch them later on. These were pretty affordable. I think I purchased these on eBay for $20, $25 or something like that. I will definitely put a link to these particular ones in the description below. Um, so as you can see, it came with two grills. Also came with an M badge, which we're just gonna put in the trash. The backside should look nearly identical to uh, the current ones that are on the car. So you'll see three tabs on the top, three tabs on the bottom, and one on each side here. So we're gonna start on the passenger side one first, which is this one here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the far side here and I'm going to start on the top. Basically what happens is if you push one of these tabs down a little bit, uh, make sure you don't push too hard because you don't want to break these, but push down just enough to release this tab from the bumper. And what you're going to do is go all the way around and do all eight of these. So I'm going to start in this section here, do one here. And what you want to do is push down and pull out at the same time because these do tend to try to go back in. So if you push down and pull out and hold on to it and move down to the next one, pull out, push down, pull out, same thing, same thing. Once you get around to this side, it's a lot easier. So um, it should be quick and easy swap. And uh, yeah, so let's get to it. So we're gonna start removing the passenger side first. So again, you wanna pull this back just far enough to stick your hand back in here. Don't be afraid. You're not gonna break anything. So we're gonna push on one tab and I'm gonna use my other hand here to kind of pull it out at the same time. I'm gonna go around and do all of them. Okay. 
and there we go. Pretty easy. So um, these do not appear to be BMW. So I think this is some sort of aftermarket version. So there must have been chrome ones on here from the start. So um, the previous owner or something must have, someone must have purchased these from somewhere else. So I'm gonna ha go ahead and swap these out. I'm do the same thing here on the driver's side. I'm gonna start here. I know that wasn't very easy to see because uh, it's kind of hard to show you guys the back side of it, but again, tabs. So same thing, all I did was hold on to this side. I pushed here, then I went to this one, then this one, and then I just kind of jumped back and forth um, until they all came out. So as long as you're pulling this at the same time as you're going around and um, releasing these tabs, all you gotta do is push just a tiny little bit. You don't need to force it, just a little bit here on the tab, on the top, and pull at the same time. Um, it should pop right out. So here's a comparison of the uh, new one versus the old one. The new one on top. So I think that's going to look really nice. So now that we've got the kidney grills off, we can actually go ahead and wrap the uh, crossbars. So I've got some vinyl here. I'm going to use the red just because the interior of the car is also red. So uh, I'm going to cut this section off and I'm going to cut it to length. So should be good. So while you guys have the kidney grills off, it's a good idea to go ahead and clean it up back here just because it does get really, really filthy around this area. So I already went ahead and cleaned everything up. Um, I didn't do a crazy good job. I didn't wax or anything like that. I just got all the, the dirt and stuff off. The same thing with back here. And I also wiped the crossbars down. Uh, we want to have the crossbars as clean as possible because we do want good adhesion uh, for the vinyl wrap. So you guys can actually see the crossbar back here. This is actually one big piece. So it goes all the way up here, connects here, and goes around. So really the proper way to do this would be to take off the bumper and remove the actual crossbar and then wrap it. But uh, that's quite a bit of work for something that I may or may not end up keeping. So um, you can wrap it without doing that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure, I've got my measuring tape here. I'm gonna measure as far as I can what I think would be you know visible to the, to the naked eye. I'm just gonna try to get as close as I possibly can and I'm gonna measure the diameter basically and figure out how much vinyl I need here. All right, so I'm taking a measurement here and it's about 14 inches long is what I need. Um, so 14 inch here and a 14 inch on the driver's side and it's about three inches in, in diameter. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut some vinyl. Okay, so I've got my two pieces of vinyl cut out here. I went just shy of 14 inches. This isn't anything special, any kind of good quality vinyl or something or anything like that. I actually bought this M-Stripe uh, vinyl on eBay a long time ago, and so I just had it lying around. That's why I'm using it. I do not recommend using this. It's actually not very good quality vinyl. Um, I'm not even gonna bother putting a link in the description for it. All right, now that I've got my pieces cut, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this as best as I possibly can. Um, it's probably not gonna be perfect, but uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. I wrap both sides. Again, not totally perfect, and the vinyl is not very good, so that doesn't help, but the main concern was I try to get as close down there as possible on both sides. The upper part is pretty close as well, but you're not gonna see all the way up there. Um, there are a small, you know, small couple bubbles on this one, but again, not a big deal. All right, now that we've got the crossbars wrapped, we can go ahead and reinstall our new kidney grills. Install should be pretty simple. All you gotta do is line up all of these tabs with these designated holes here. Make sure they're all lined up first before you push them all the way in. Um, other than that, it's pretty much a done deal, so. Make sure you got everything lined up, and then push. 
should snap into place. That one's on. Same thing on the driver's side. Good to go. So I've got the new kidney grills on, got the crossbars wrapped. Now we can go ahead and reinstall the bumper. Um, just got to make sure that these little clips, the bumper goes in the clips here. So you just want to push back simultaneously on all four of those. Now that you've got that in place, it should all click into place and uh, all the holes here should all line up. So once you get that done, go ahead and put your T25s back in and your T30. Once you've got all your Torx bits back in, go ahead and reinstall the weather stripping here. There's a little channel on the back side uh, that it'll all slip in along this path here. So Okay, everybody, here's the completed product there. Nice subtle little accent of red. And uh, I like the new kidneys. How do you guys feel about all this? All right, everybody, that just about does it. Pretty simple install. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Also, let me know how you guys feel about the new kidney grills. Do you like the new ones? Do you like the old ones? How do you feel about the vinyl wrapped crossbars as well? So please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.